As a follow-up uh, on my previous video, I want to share with you a few news and updates and uh, announce uh, something that is coming soon. If you stay tuned, uh, I will uh, guide you through this uh, video today. So one of the good news is that uh, Iranian uh, leadership uh, apparently understood uh, how desperate is uh, Israeli government. They understood uh, that uh, Netanyahu and his uh, war cabinet, somebody would say war crime cabinet, but uh, let's wait for uh, decision of uh, ICJ, and uh, they didn't uh, start any uh, retaliatory action so far, and uh, that's very uh, good news for entire planet, because uh, you know this uh, regional war, if that happens between Israel and uh, Iran, would uh, definitely lead to the situation which I'm going to describe on Sunday into more details. So stay tuned for Sunday. Uh, yeah, when I said uh, uh, war crime uh, cabinet, uh, uh, yeah, we are still waiting for a decision from uh, International Court of Justice on the merit of the case uh, South Africa versus uh, Israel. And speaking about uh, ICJ or International Court of Justice, which I often referred to as uh, uh, the World Court or uh, the main court of the United Nations. So the state of Nicaragua press lawsuit uh, against uh, Germany for aiding militarily the Israeli war crimes, plausible genocide according to definition from International Court of Justice, and provisional measures uh, pronounced uh, by the same court. In defense, uh, in that defense, uh, Germany states uh, that uh, they are not uh, the largest uh, supplier and not the only supplier. They are number two after the United States. And they, uh, apart uh, from providing military gear, which is according to uh, the statement uh, and defense is mostly non-lethal, uh, what means uh, mostly. But uh, nevertheless, uh, they also the number one provider of uh, humanitarian aid for Palestinian population in Gaza, which is commendable. So we will see how uh, International Court of Justice will rule in that case. I'm very interested uh, to find out. Yeah, uh, some people would uh, uh, wonder why United States uh, are exempted, because they are United States and they are very privileged. Basically, uh, United States uh, uh, partially uh, agrees with the uh, uh, genocide convention in terms of uh, jurisdiction of uh, International Court of Justice and International Criminal Court. Uh, as a privileged nation, uh, they have right uh, to decline uh, their appearance before the court uh, and uh, accept uh, case by case, to decide case by case. That, in essence, means uh, if they agree to be tried, they would be tried. Uh, and if they disagree, which is mostly the case, there is no trial. So, very, very good for the United States. Also, <laughs> uh, some people are shocked. <laughs> Uh, why Nicaragua? Nicaragua is uh, not a torch of the democracy, but you know what? 
yeah, we can agree or disagree, but uh, for international court of justice, uh, doesn't matter who, you know, was the nature of uh, the country which uh, press lawsuit against another country, both signatories of uh, genocide convention, and doesn't matter was the uh, human rights uh, situation in that country. So it will be very interesting to find out uh, what is the ruling. And uh, these days, uh, a lot of people in public uh, discourse, uh, they show either mm, lack of knowledge, uh, because they they don't know really, or they deliberately don't want to know, or they hide uh, the fact that uh, uh, International Court of Justice uh, so far, in the case of uh, South Africa versus uh, Israel, only decided uh, about uh, prov uh, provisional measures, about uh, prevention of uh, plausible genocide. It's still not uh, a final ruling on the merit, on the merit of the case. Uh, which uh, would tell us uh, if Israel uh, committed uh, or commits uh, genocide in Gaza or not, or they simply apply the right uh, for self-defense, which is, again, arguable. Can you imagine if, uh, let's say, International Court of Justice decides that uh, Russian Federation, as a occupying force in, in the eastern and south uh, Ukraine has right for self-defense. You see uh, potential for double standards. Let's hope, uh, and I have a firm belief, that uh, International Court of Justice will rule professionally, but the key point is that uh, whatever they rule, uh, it should go to Security Council of the United Nations for implementation. And, you know, with the uh, five uh, permanent states uh, of the Security Council, which uh, have right to veto uh, any motion, any any initiative, uh, every, every process before the uh, Security Council. So I don't see any benefit for uh, Palestinians. The question is how many of them would uh, stay alive to hear that final decision and that famous never again it appears these days in this twisted world uh, that never again, out of that never again, people hear only that again. On the personal note, I think uh, this channel is uh, slightly damaging my uh, professional engagements as an uh, international independent consultant. But uh, nevertheless, I will still produce uh, new content, share my thoughts with you in hope that uh, you would uh, better understand what is going on. So those who who really like my content, uh, they would keep on watching. Those who don't like it, they have another channels and uh, I cannot judge them. Meanwhile, I will speak up as one holy book says, speak the truth even if it is against you. So this is exactly what I'm planning to do. See you.